Hey guys, Kelly Walters here, and today I'm going to show you how to create custom printed hats by using a heat press. Let's get started. All right, so for today, we are going to be using the 360 IQ hat press. That's this thing right here. Next, for our transfer, we will be using a digitally printed transfer that is called CAD Color Express Print that you can print if you have a printer cutter, eco solvent printer in your production facility at home or wherever you are producing items. Next, if you don't have one of those at your fingertips, you can easily order these in services. This would be called CAD Prints Express Print. So, what we are going to do is peel the backing off of this carrier, load our flex, flex fit hat onto our press, and simply heat apply. This will be done in a matter of 45 to 50 seconds, and then you will have a custom printed cap with full color artwork and absolutely no crease. So let's head to the press and get this thing going. Now, before we get started um, loading our cap onto the hat press, we want to make sure that all of our settings are set up correctly. Specifically with this transfer, we want to be at 280 degrees top, 300 degrees tw uh, on the bottom, medium pressure, and we also want to make sure that we are um, cooking or the dwell time is for 45 seconds. So the easy way to go ahead and change everything is to just tap on what we want to change. As you can see, my, uh, my temperature should be at 280 and the bottom temperature should be at 320. We are getting just a little bit of variation on this, but it's only a couple of degrees. Next, we want to make sure our pressure readout is accurate and of course our time. So again, we are just going to tap and tap this bar or the arrows to adjust to 45 seconds. Check that box. And then for the pressure, this is just a gauge to tell you what you want to be at in terms of readout for accurate, for the accurate recipe. You can also go into your settings and select the correct transfer and it will automatically do the adjusting except for the pressure. The pressure will still need to be adjusted. So let's go ahead and get our cap loaded. All right, so for our 360, this is the artwork we are going to be using. Like I said, this is CAD Color Express Print or in services, it is called CAD Prints Express Print. And we just want to remove the backing away from the carrier, exposing the adhesive for our transfer. Now I'm just gonna set this to the side and pull out our flex fit cap. Now to load this on to our heat press, if you've not listened to any of, if you've not watched or had the opportunity to watch any of Josh's videos about the 360, we have a lower heated, element and then we also have an upper heated element. So be cautious as this is very hot. So we're going to take our cap, hold it uh, with two hands from the bill and just slide it over the unit or the heater, excuse me. We're going to pull out the sweatband to where our cap just fits right over the lip of that heater. And then we are going to engage our lever locking the cap in place simply by flipping it up. Now that our cap is secure, as you can see, it's not moving. We are going to simply take our transfer and just line it over the top. Now from here, we are going to take the 1 8 pad that the 360 comes with, the 360 comes with all three pads that you would need to heat decorate or heat print. So we're just gonna lay that nice on top. And with our settings already being set, all we have to do now is pull the heating element down and lock it into place. This will print or heat up for 45 seconds. Once it's done and complete, the 
lever will lift and then we will want to automatically remove the cap from the heating element and set it aside prior to peeling. Remove the pad, flip the lever back down and remove the hat. All right, now that our transfer has become warm or cold to the touch, you can see the carrier already starting to lift from the hat, so we are good to peel that away. Now our hat's complete. Now I wanted to give you guys a little piece of information. It's there for you to see on the website when you're viewing the 360 IQ hat press. However, in case you didn't realize it was there, when you go to the details section, you will actually be able to click a downloadable PDF. This will give you all of the heat settings to have accurate time temperature and pressure. Now, with this PDF, you can print it off like I did, Feel free to laminate it, fold it in half, stick it on the wall, whatever you want to do that way you can easily access this information. Like I showed you just a little bit ago, you can also create settings that will help you eliminate not need to have this piece of paper around. Now, if you're like me and you like stuff like this, I'm going to laminate it and keep it next to the press. That way I can always go in and see exactly what I need to do. All right, guys, here is the final look at the hat that we just decorated. It was completed in 45 seconds and it took about 15 seconds before we could peel the carrier to allow it to cool down to a little, you know, warm or cold temperature. Now, I wanted to show you a couple of other hats um, that you can decorate with this. This was easy. It was custom printed, full color, extremely smooth, no creases but I want to give you a couple of other ideas. This is one of our flex style logos. As you can see, you get again, dimension and texture, and it's really trending to what you're seeing with caps in the market today. Next, we've gone a little bit of a boutique or an Etsy or crafting route as we've added a glitter crown to a pink cap. And last but not least, we've taken a little bit of a retail spin, adding a side patch, a side twill patch in full color to this unstructured six panel cap. There's so much that you can do with a 360. And as you can see, you can create these hats in under a minute. Thanks for tuning in guys. We'll see you next time. What I'd love for you to do next is tell me below which hat was your favorite. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.